Hey guys, Des Letter Magic here, and there's another kind of cool event on Arena. Once again, it's not absolutely terrible, it's not absolutely great. I know I love to spoil the result of the video in the first 10 seconds, but I just hate it when people are like, watch till the end to reach my conclusion. Nah, I'll tell you straight up. Don't leave though, because I got more to say about it. So, um, that's right, I built a cycling deck. Let's Let's just address the 800 pound girl in the room first, but we'll return to that. It's Festival on the Edge. We have simply love showing you around Zendikar during this festival of adventure, which was like a multi-part festival once a week thing or whatever whatever they were doing. Uh, but as our journey comes to a close, it's time to put all we've seen into practice with a hands-on survival test. And, you know, it kind of is because you have to custom special build a deck for this. Uh, the event's probably like a day or two or whatever, so you barely have time to go copy someone else's work online. I'm sure it's there. Um, I've seen people solve a format in half a day, so it's like... Okay, but in all likelihood, you could just adapt one of your decks. It looks like apparently I couldn't. I mean, look, look at these. Look at these. <laughs> like, you can't adapt crap. 82 cards. <laughs> so I'm just like, I don't know, cycling. I want free wins. Whatever. I don't care about this. But uh, as I started to play it, I started to care about it. And also, boy, I think I built the cycling deck wrong. Too many two-cost cyclers are going for mid-range value. It's too slow. I don't know. I mean, it always was a boring garbage deck, even in full-blown standard and the most optimized versions, but, uh, wow, did I hate playing with this. But I thought, okay, everybody in the grandma is going to be running cycling. It's a tier one deck right now, maybe tier 1.5 with the amount of control. Um, it's just going to dominate the tournament. I might as well just jump in and do the same thing. And you can see I got some pretty quick wins. I think I only had three or four losses in there. Which is more than I expected, but mutate was a thing too. So if you're not familiar uh, with this event, I should probably tell you, you have to build a deck with just the last three sets. And that's it. So standard is five, this is three. So it's Ikoria, Corset 2021, and Zendikar Rising. When you're out exploring, you won't always have everything you think you need unless you subscribe to my other Disaster and Survival Preparedness channel. Uh, what happens when your pack is empty and your favorite rope snaps in two? Oh, both of those were clearly your fault. Uh, you'll have to make the best use of what you've got, pulling your gear to or putting, putting your gear to work in ways that you might not have otherwise. Can you survive with limited tools and resources? Uh, that is the mark of a true adventure. And honestly, that does really describe what you're doing. I mean, I'm kind of getting into this a little bit. It's usually kind of dumb and cheesy, but... I mean, they're not wrong. I'm kind of feeling this, you know, just saying. <laughs> so bring a 60-card deck using only cards from past three sets. And change your deck anytime. And Omnath is banned because, my God, would anybody just run nothing with that? So I thought... Okay, Constellation isn't going to happen, and usually you run a Constellation slash Landfall deck in uh, green-white. It's kind of hard to run just one or the other. Um, if you add red, you can get something going, but without Omnath, it's like, what's the point? Um, and I think the closest I got, actually, was... Watsi did an oopsie, which is my new landfall deck without Omnath, even though I left him on the front cover, just ironically. And I'd still have to, you know, mess with 14 cards here. Like, Dryad, Elysian, um, the Great Henge. Wait, I thought all the temples were legal. They were, like, reprinted in 2021. I don't know. Who knows? But, I mean, okay, ramp, ramp, whatever. I could maybe make this work, but eh, I don't know. This, this never was a very good deck. It wasn't as good as it was with Omnath. So let's get into what I saw, and this is what really surprised me. I mean, we saw a bunch of just mutate stacks, three-color trash, just obnoxious, broken crap, where if you take out their stack of mutated stuff, they forfeit on the spot. Just all-in, boring, repetitive garbage, and if it gets hexproof, you're screwed. So, ugh, ugh. Very, very, very obnoxious. Ikoria was one of the worst sets I've ever seen, as far as, like, like anybody thought it was a good idea. I guess that that's the best way to describe it. The fact that anybody thought anything in that set was a good idea is astonishing. So that's just poisoning this whole format. If I were them, I would have kicked it out. I mean, it would have just been Zendikar rising with some core set reprints, but you know, whatever. Um, I did not go up against one single cycling deck. That is amazing. I mean, they might be trying to suppress mirror matches and it might be worse than I thought, but, uh, you know, whatever. But I saw all kinds of stuff. I saw some really creative stuff. I saw some kind of fair spell spammy prowess stuff. I saw some, you know, just interesting creature combos where it's kind of all in into that. I think I saw like some graveyard mechanics. I saw some spell count mechanics. I saw planeswalkers. Um, 
I saw, you know, just mono green, you know, traditional, I'm coming at you with giant creatures, but not as obnoxiously broken as it is in standard and especially brawl right now. So it was actually shocking that people came up with like real based normal decks. Like we're talking just, Hey, this resembles something somebody would have built five years ago. Somebody put actual creativity and effort into this. I mean, wow. That the game used to be fun. Remember before they broke it. I, I don't know if you remember that. If you haven't been playing for more than about uh, three or four years, and then you probably don't remember that. But uh, my little beef with this is it's 2,500 coins. You can see I'm way down. I started the day with like 12,000. I mean, come on. But uh, they're giving away two emotes. So this is practically like mandatory, unless you never want to say every rebirth looks like a death or Iona, will, uh, Iona no longer guards this place we do, which those are fairly general uh but then they've also got a territorial scythe cat which is an amazing card then we've got uh, canopy bayloth i mean come on um mckindy ox okay i forgot that was in the set and uh morog so boy you could just stop here <laughs> but i mean it's it's free styles i mean whatever i mean the emotes are one and done you can't pick these up any other way as far as i know maybe from a f and m code or something from f and m at home but that's about it so I would say if you were to just build something kind of creative, interesting, and and low powered, you could jump into this, get away with a win, and if you have just just keep in mind enough removal to beat, uh, mutate. That's all you need. And my deck, as you know, has no removal. It has one force fight and an ambush double strike, and that's it. So I managed to make that work, but the, the number one deck I lost to was just mutate stacks and stacks and stacks and stacks. Because, you know, they draw, they free cast, they kill stuff recurringly every turn, multiple triggers. It's it's disgusting. I hate that mechanic so much. Um, but if you have enough removal to deal with that, or you have bigger creatures, flying creatures, faster creatures, whatever. And I didn't see any red rush. Nobody could get red rush going in this event that I saw. And I played quite a few games. So I actually kept playing past the, the six wins. I think I played about 20 games because I was just fascinated by what people came up with and that it wasn't just the same decks over and over and over. Now, as people go on like Reddit or forums or goldfish or wherever the hell these are posted, a uh, discord, who knows? And they start saying, Hey, I won with this deck. I went six and oh with this deck and everybody copied them this will degenerate into a terrible format so i would say jump into this as quickly as possible strangely enough we don't have a timer on it usually when you click on it you get a timer on it there's still no timer on it it just it should be right here it says keep playing until the event ends which i think no timer means there's more than 48 hours i i think that's the rule that they don't always stick to so yeah, get in on this as soon as you possibly can. So yeah, I, I'd give this a better rating than even the last one they did, which looked really fun and, and wasn't at all. So I mean, even if you haven't been on Arena in a while, I might just want to jump on and, and this will be really, really refreshing. And it would be a shame to, you know, lose out on these, but you need uh, 2,500 coins or however many gems. So just FYI. So thanks for watching, everybody. I got a couple more videos actually coming out today and I will see you guys next video.